<laughs> we pick up our story at Genesis chapter 41 when Joseph is in Egypt. He's been in prison for two years. Pharaoh's chief wine taster has forgotten all about him. One night, Pharaoh goes to sleep and has a dream in which seven fat cows come out of the Nile and start grazing. And then seven skinny cows come out of the Nile and eat them up. Pharaoh wakes up and then goes back to sleep and has another dream in which these fat heads of wheat, seven of them, grow on the side of the Nile and then seven fat skinny heads of wheat come up and eat them up. Pharaoh wakes up. Wise men, magicians, tell me what my dreams mean. We don't know. Ah, oh, says Pharaoh's chief wine taster. I've made a big mistake. When I was in prison with the chief baker, we both had dreams that really upset us. We woke up and there was this Hebrew slave who said, what's wrong? Tell me your dreams. We told him our dreams and he told us the meaning. Each one was different. And it happened just as he said. I was returned to my position as head wine taster, but the baker was killed and stuck on a pole. Get him, says Pharaoh. So they send for Joseph, who's in prison, and his beard is shaved and his clothes are changed and he's cleaned up and presented to Pharaoh. Can you interpret dreams, says Pharaoh? Only God knows the meaning of dreams. He can tell us and you can have peace. Well, in my dreams, there were seven fat cows came out of the Nile that were eaten by seven skinny cows. That was one dream. And then straight away, I had another dream that where seven heads of grain blossomed and flourished, but they were eaten up by seven skinny heads of grain. Ah, said Joseph, these two dreams have the same meaning. God is telling you about the future, about what will happen in Egypt. There will be seven years of plenty. Everything will flourish, but then there will be seven years of hunger and famine and want in the land. What you need to do is appoint someone wise to rule over the whole kingdom and gather all of the excess grain and put it in Pharaoh's barns for when the food runs out. Ah, oh, says Pharaoh, who should I appoint? Who has the spirit of God and wisdom like this man? You will be my ruler over all of Egypt. Here is my ring for your finger. Here is a cloak for your shoulders. New clothes. Here is a gold chain for your neck. Take my second best chariot and go throughout the land and collect the grain. So Pharaoh sends Joseph throughout the land and in the time of plenty, one fifth is collected into Pharaoh's barns. But then comes the time of hunger and famine. First of all, it affects the lands around Egypt, but then the Egyptians as well. And they cry out to Pharaoh and say, feed us. And he says, go to Joseph and he'll provide for all you need. So the people came to Joseph and he opened the granaries and fed them all. But the whole of the rest of the world was in famine. Have you had dreams you don't understand? Where do you go to understand dreams? 